Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be doing my worst makeup products of 2018 video. Now before you ask, yes, I'm going to do a 2018 favorite series, but we're going to start off on a little bit of a negative note. <laughs> I don't know, I always think these videos are just kind of fun. So if you like any of the products that I'm talking about in this video, don't get butt hurt. I'm happy that it worked for you. I'm jealous that it worked for you and that it didn't work for me because clearly I spent my money thinking I was going to like it. And that's the important thing. Like, I don't receive PR. I purchase these products with my own money. So when they don't work for me, I'm highly upset. <laughs> I wanted them to work for me. So anyways, I'm going to start off with the items that I still have with me that I didn't return. And then I'll get into the items that I did end up returning. So the first one, this is, I'm a standalone guy right here. I do not like this foundation and everybody does. I don't even remember if this came out in 2018. But regardless, I think I got it this year. So I'm just going to talk about it because I got to talk about it because I don't like it. It is the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. Now, everybody loves this except for me. It's very, very matte on me. There's nothing radiant about it. Um, it wears like doo-doo on me. It settles into lines. I've used this also like on clients and it did not look good on their skin, but everybody loves this foundation. So, my skin's just weird. I don't know, but I, I don't like the way this foundation applies. I feel like it dries on my face really fast and it ends up looking splotchy on my face and it emphasizes my texture, fine line. Foundation is such a personal thing and this foundation did not work for me, unfortunately. So I didn't return it because I tried to convince myself for the longest time that I liked it. And you know what, here I am, I'm just stepping back into reality. Like, no, I do not like this foundation. <laughs> All right, moving on. I don't necessarily not like these products, but they aren't the best. Like I was very let down by the Natasha Denona mini palettes. Now they got better as time went on. So I'm just actually going to pinpoint one specific one. The mini sunset palette. This is just not good. This color is terrible. This color is terrible. Um, and the shimmers just, the shimmers aren't the regular full size formula. Granted, this is only $25 as compared to like her $100 plus palettes. So, okay, I'll give a little bit of leeway for that, but still like she says this is her normal formula and it's just not, it's like, it's not that good. I was highly disappointed in this. I'm such a hypocrite though because I still use them. I, I like the mattes in them and they're so cute and tiny. My expectations were very high for this and I was let down. Alright, so the next one, there are two palettes. I only have one with me right now. The second one is actually over uh, with my mom and I am too lazy to go and get it. But the Too Faced 2D Fruity Collection as a whole left me pretty disappointed. Um, in particular, the Razzle Dazzle Berry Eyeshadow Palette as well as the other one. It was like a pineapple one. I did film a tutorial using this palette and you can see in the tutorial that as I was blending, it was pulling the shadow off of my eye. These are just a bad, bad formula. They smell amazing though, and I think that's why this is still sitting in my collection because I, it's it's an enjoyable experience to open it up, but using it, this just isn't good. I don't know, it has a weird shimmer formula that is like a cream formula that Too Faced never does. Some of the shadows aren't pigmented, they don't blend well. I just, and the same goes for the other one. I was just disappointed with this. Also the foundation, I'm not hating on it because I can make it work, but it really wasn't that good. So like this 2D Fruity collection, I was so excited for and I was let down by it. So these are the only products that lived to tell the story because the rest I returned because I was not about to waste my money. So the first one is a new product that I purchased and I just hauled as well as tried in a tutorial and that is the Flower Beauty Matte Finishing Powder. Oh my gosh, that was so bad. It smelled terrible. It was so fine that it got up my nose and that horrible smell got up my nose. You will literally see in the video me like choking because it's disgusting, it got everywhere, and it didn't even look good on my skin either. I put it under my eyes. First of all, it made my eyes look darker, and I tried that powder twice, and it made my under eyes look darker the second time as well, and it also clung on to patches that I didn't even know were there. No other powder 
has ever clung to those patches until I tried that powder. So that powder for me was a no-go. I don't really know how flashback worked with that, but I saw in Thomas Halbert's video, I believe, there was a disgusting flashback in it. So that powder's not good. The satin one I've tried and I think I like it more. I want to play with it some more, but that matte powder awful i returned it next i did a review on these two guys and that was the carl lagerfeld and nordstrom collaboration so when i heard carl lagerfeld i was like oh my gosh this is about to be so good and they were so cute they were little cat packaging but those palettes had zero pigmentation for the amount of money that i paid for them nope you can watch my review i was highly disappointed in them because i thought they were so dang cute and i was so excited to review them for you guys and then i used them and it was like child's makeup no pigmentation whatsoever the proof is in the pudding check out the video if you don't believe me but no bueno also we have the stila highlighters in the very very beginning of my channel i did review them this is all the way back to like february or something so they were a giant glitter and glow like the eyeshadows except they were giant so they weren't eye safe they were for the face and they just looked so i would never wear them they were like glittery all over my face and i just i don't know you can check out my review i wasn't about them i thought it was a weird product it wasn't for me returned them i i didn't like them okay so last one this was another spring release so again this was a video i filmed in the beginning of my channel it was like a spring release in february it was the nars danger control eyeshadow palette it had a weird array of like light holographic colors that were powdery and wouldn't sit on my skin so like, what's the point if it's not even sitting in my on my skin i don't know you need to watch my review because it's been a while since i've used that product i mean i returned it but it's been a while since i've thought about that product but it just wasn't working for me the formula of it just was terrible and you know nars almost always has an amazing formula so i trust everything that they come out with and i was very let down by this product basically it just wasn't good i don't know maybe some of you liked it but i was not about it so yeah that's it those are the worst products of 2018 for me personally there are some other things that i tried that i know i didn't like but these were the ones that stood out to me. Let me know down below what your worst products of 2018 were. I hate being negative on my channel, but I'm, I'm just here to be honest. I did not like those, and I hope that if you spent your own money on them, I hope that you liked them and that they worked for you. Makeup is a really funny thing, and it works very different on everybody based on how they apply, based on their skin type, based on their skin tone based on their eye shape, face shape. There's so many factors that go into a person's opinion on makeup. Like, I don't always know what I'm talking about. So just because I say it's bad doesn't mean it's bad. These are all personal experiences. But anyways, I'm so excited to get into my best of 2018 series. It's going to be coming very soon. I don't know how soon, but hopefully sooner than later. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to tell me down below what your least favorite products of 2018 were, and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day, guys. Bye!